Boy oh boy, does it just me or does it feel like everyone and their mother is talking about the Nintendo Switch right now? And hey, I might as well join in bandwagon, bandwagon effect and give my opinions on what's going on with the Switch. Hey guys, the what's going on? It's Meister here, and welcome to my opinions on the Nintendo Switch. And to another discussion on Meister discussions. Let's jump right into the topic. The Nintendo Switch. What do I personally think of the system itself? To be honest, I'm kind of hyped for it. Me, myself, not being a Nintendo fanboy, but I'm still hyped for it nonetheless. It's interesting to see the, the gaming industry or the gaming market in general. J just how much it could change, you know? And the Switch could definitely change change sales, you know what I mean? But uh, let's look at what they got, Nintendo's got for 2017. Alright, let's just talk about the, their lineup right now, alright? <clears throat> On launch day, we have 1-2 Switch, which I personally think should be bundled with the game with the system itself like Wii Sports was with with an intent with Wii with the Wii you know what I mean it really should be bundled with it, it and you're they're gonna charge fifty dollars for it that's a stupid move Nintendo M me personally I would not buy one two switch all right maybe if it came with the system itself it's a little gimmicky thing so that people can like get used to um, the new control, the Joy-Con controllers. You know, what I, you know what I mean? The Legend of Zelda: Breath of the Wild. Ah, uh, all right. That's pretty good. That could possibly sell systems. This game right here was what was what was hyping up the Switch for the longest time. And this get and this creates hype. But hype can't sell system alone, or maybe it can. But hype dies, guys. So the Switch cannot just rely on Zelda alone, and this is on launch day. By the way, Zelda is a launch title, by the way, which I think is cool. Skylanders Imaginators. No, just no. I don't give a fuck about Skylanders. Really, Just Dance 27, no. No. <sighs> Let's see. Um, has been heroes. I haven't even heard of that. I am Satamo. I haven't heard of that one either. Sonic Mania. Now that's gonna probably launch. It's launching in March. Sonic Mania is indeed launching in March. So I mean, yeah. And the Switch comes out in lo in March, so I f PS4, Xbox One, PC, and Nintendo Switch versions are all gonna come out at the same time. That's what I think. You know what I mean? Lego City Undercover, not really into Lego games myself. Arms. Now, when I for when I watched the live stream presentation for the Nintendo, well, the most recent one for the Nintendo Switch, when I saw Arms, I was just thought like, oh, it's another gimmicky little game. Kind of like punch out and stuff, but though I heard Good things about it actually from youtubers such as HMK and pro Jared And I've heard really good opinions about it, which actually higher my expectations for it Which is pretty neat actually not gonna lie. I'm actually kind of hyped for arms now Super Bomberman R guys, let's be honest Bomberman died out a long time ago All right Long time ago. Snipper clips cut it out together. It's some kind of puzzle game last time I checked. I don't know what to think of it. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. April 28th, 2017. Why isn't this a launch title? Why isn't this a launch title? So smash in while you're at it. Why isn't this a launch title? Think about it. If we get more, I mean, uh, is it? It's not that hard to add in a couple characters. This is releasing almost two months after the Switch launches. Why is this a launch title? It's just a port of Mario Kart 8 with maybe slightly better graphics and new characters, also new battle mode. But still, why isn't this a launch title? It would help sell the system. Ugh. And why are and why don't we just throw smash in there too? 
Include all the DLC. Maybe add a couple new characters. Stuff like that, man. Splatoon 2. Coming out in summer 2017. You know what? I'll give Nintendo credit for this. They went the extra mile. Not to... Not just... Cr not creating just a remastered port of Splatoon. Because... They could have easily done that. In fact, they could have easily done that with a lot of games on here. Like Mario Kart 8 and stuff. But no, they actually went out of their way to make a sequel. Excuse me. But still. They went, they went out of their way to make a legitimate sequel. Which props to Nintendo on that. Seriously. I also give them props for Mario Kart 8. Despite it released. Despite it could the possibility of it could be a launch title but still I give them props for that they added the squid kids from Splatoon the inklings and as new characters and added battle mode they didn't have to or improve battle mode they didn't have to do any of that man none of that they didn't have to do any of that I mean with Super Mario Odyssey they they could have just stick to uh, they could have made a Super Mario 3D World 2 or pour of Super Mario 3D World in general. That would have sold millions. Same thing for a Platoon port and a Mario Kart 8 port. But no, they made a sequel or made the remasterings and added extra stuff fans wanted. That is awesome. Really it is Nintendo. The Switch has high possibilities, man. And with the, with, with the result, with the results I'm seeing right now, sorry about my stuttering, it, uh, it has so much potential. And Nintendo's being really good about this right now. NBA 2K18. Not my cup of tea, but it may help sell the console. Skyrim on the Switch. Yeah, we've seen the hinting at this for quite a while now. And it's confirmed. Um... Now, I'm noticing something, a little trend here. Nintendo Switch games seems to be a lot more open world. A, a type of play Nintendo hasn't really experimented with in a long time. The closest thing we got to that was Super Mario 64 and Super Mario Sunshine. Also, was Wind Waker open world? I forget, but still. They were no longer going for a linear path. Nintendo in the description of the latest uh, Zelda trailer, and I'll leave that in the link down below if you want to watch that. It's pretty cool, but still, they said, forget everything you knew about Zelda. Everything. This this means, well, this could possibly mean everything is new. We're going for a new direction with the Switch and with our IPs now. Just think about that. Open world. Zelda. Oh. Breath of the Wild and Super Mario Odyssey is open world and we're getting Skyrim on the Switch which may not be that impressive but it shows Nintendo's changing for the good advancing evolving I mean Breath of the Wild is gonna have voice acting and to me that is awesome uh, no the whole game's not gonna be voice acted by the way <laughs> sorry to get your hopes too high I guess but only certain moments are I mean, watch that Zelda trailer, Breath of the Wild trailer, I mean, well, so. Oh, man. Super Mario Odyssey. God damn it, it's so fucking cool. Oh, so cool. Think about it. Open world Mario, those visuals. Pimp Bowser. We had that pimp card 3D world. Now we're getting pimp Bowser. And Mario's half live jump out of jump out of the platform. Lion, oh, new, pulling a Sonic Adventure, going to New York City or Donk City or whatever. Oh, it is so damn cool. Super Mario Odyssey is the hype. Holiday 2017. This game would probably is gonna be the game that will sell the Switch around that time. But enough of me gushing. I'm going to go over what Nintendo's doing right and wrong with the marketing. Well, my thoughts on it, that is. Okay. So, on one hand, with a whole new open world and adding all this new stuff in, the games are getting bigger and better. 
we're getting we see Nintendo putting a lot more effort in it into their games from remasters to just making full on sequels when they didn't have to. They are not in they, yes, you wanna make money. Every company has to make money. But they were I'm seeing something new from Nintendo here. Less laziness. I don't see Mario Tennis Ultra Smash, alright? I don't see nothing mediocre right now like that. I see promise. I see the I see Breath of the Wild, Skyrim, and Super Mario Odyssey as signs. The Nintendo is going for a more open world market and bigger and better games that we have not seen before on a Nintendo platform. This could be a possible new age for Nintendo. Um, oh, let's see. <laughs> oh my god. I lost my, I'm, I'm losing my thoughts first. I'm losing my thoughts right here. Another thing with the marketing. They marketed Breath of the Wild really well. Making making the only thing they showed off last year at last year's E3 was great marketing. People were skeptical about it, even I was for a while, but damn it paid off. Everyone and their mothers are hyped for Zelda Breath of the Wild, god damn it. <laughs> hell, if I hell if I had enough to go out and buy a switch right now, I would! Enough of that, that open worldness. But something. But with this new HD Rumble, I want to talk about that. The HD Rumble is really good for pro gamers like me and like me and many of you watching this video, most likely. Or are you? It's normal casual. There's no problem with that. I don't have problems with casuals. Good for you, man. I hope you guys will enjoy your Switch. But stop. The AC Rumble, and it's like, oh, it's like making you feel more attached to the game. It makes you, you know, just make you feel more. AC Rumble to the Joy-Con. Camera scanning on the Joy-Con. But does Tim, little Timmy care about that? No. Little Timmy does not care about that at all. Little Timmy is like... Little Timmy just wants to play Mario and Zelda, okay? And the problem is with this is with a couple features about the Joy-Con. I'm going to compare this to um, the 3DS for a moment. So the 3DS had this little feature built in where you can scan AR cards and stuff and advanced camera and stuff like that. And and it, it was used a little bit up in the hype most people only used it once myself included i didn't really care about that stuff but you're still paying for that extra feature that's gone and useless it has no use anymore on your 3ds all right none not a zero but yet you're still paying for that feature i don't want any of the new joy con features or any other features like that on the switch to turn out like that to get this uh, I was expecting a two to $250 launch price and but we got $300 which is honestly is not that bad but the reason is you're paying the reason why it's like that you're paying for all these extra features like touch screen and HD rumble and stuff like that little Timmy doesn't care okay and some gamers probably won't care either. But you're but adding all these little extra features in may make you look cool. And they are some of some, some them are really cool, okay? Don't don't fucking hate me. <laughs> but little but but if if it like it's just if it, I just don't want to turn out like some of the features of the 3DS did. <sighs> also that launch is looking eh. Pretty much aside from Zelda and maybe ARMS, I'm not interested at, at all. Also Sonic Mania, that's me personal. That's in the launch months. That's me personally though. But I can play Sonic Mania on my PS4. So I mean, yeah. But still, the main thing that's gonna sell the Switch is Breath of the Wild. That's gonna sell the Switch for a while. 
what did we get? We get freaking Just Dance 2017, Skylanders Imaginators. Uh, I'm looking at my list. Excuse me. And one, two, switch. Sold out as, as its own little thing. Even though I think it would be way better as a little gimmick like Wii Sports Wars, what for the Wii, to teach you how to use the Joy Cons and stuff. Yeah. It should have been packaged with the console, with Zelda. It's like, you get Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild and 1-2 Switch. No, they're going to charge $50 for that game. $50! That's stupid. So, what do we do about the launch, huh? What do we do? Here's my suggestion. Delay the Switch. I know what you're all saying. Delay the Switch? No way. We need the Switch now. Well, that's some of you. Not all of you are going to be like that, hopefully. And, um, I, I completely understand. Sometimes getting delayed sucks. But it ensure a better product and more thick, in this case, better and more success. Let me tell you something. Most people think what sells the Nintendo console is Zelda and Mario. But out of those two, Mario sells more. He really does. We've seen it. I've looked at this. I've looked at this, alright? Mario sells more. Well, Zelda sells well. It's the second best selling Nintendo franchise, I believe. But still. Zelda is a launch title. Which is to be expected. I'm hyped for that too. Don't get me wrong. But some don't some casual mom or something will want a Mario game for their son to play or something. Mario's way more recognizable. But back to delaying the switch. If we delay the switch to I don't know, holiday of 2017, like November would be a good time for it to come out. We would have all these games done. We would have Splatoon. T Imagine this, right? You get your Nintendo Switch in November of 2017, right? You get Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. You, g you get Splatoon 2. You get Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. You get Skyrim. You get any of these other third-party games. You get all of this. And maybe even Super Mario Odyssey. Who knows? You know what I mean? You get your arms, you get your bomberman. <laughs> oh god. You get all of this cool stuff and any other game Nintendo's releasing this year. Or any third party developer. You get that all on your Switch all at once. Can you imagine that? That'll make Switch a hard player right there. And if it gets even more third party support, by the way, back on that in a second. Point is, if the Switch gets delayed to November 2017, I believe, it will sell even more. It would be a hard hitter in the console market. It would have all these epic games with it. All the games that you'd want. Not just Zelda and ARMS and Sonic Mania. No, it would have all of these other games like Mario Odyssey, Splatoon 2 and stuff. I'm repeating myself now. Let's go to third party support. Right, third party support. Let's, uh, Talk about that. So uh, the presentation, we had a guy from Sega walking up saying, we are looking forward to making games for the Switch. Guy from Ubisoft, I believe. Uh, we are making games for the Switch. And guy and um, EA saying, we have FIFA 17 coming to the Switch. Uh, uh, okay, do you mind going in more depth on that? Maybe if the EA should put Star Wars, I don't know, Star Wars Battlefront port on it, or, or Star Wars Battlefront 2, or whatever the hell they're planning. Or anything like that, anything EA planning majorly, or U Ubisoft. Maybe you can pour a Far Cry game on there, or put the new Assassin's Creed, or whatever on there. That would sell the console. Active Engine is involved, put the new Call of Duty on there, boom, you're selling the console. The problem with Nintendo, within these recent years with the with two gen generations ago and last generation and that was one of the reasons why the Wii U failed by the way look the Wii due to its in, in, superior, in, in superior hardware 
to the PS3 and Xbox 360. It couldn't hold as many third-party games, or at least as stronger. It either had to get a little, either had to get like the um, diet version of the game, or none, nata. And the reason why the Wii sold in general, by the way, was because, ooh, motion, motion controlled, that's the big craze. But midway through the Wii's life cycle, it died out. People were complaining about the Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, if you remember that. Do you remember that? And the, this caused the Wii U to fail. Nintendo was relying on this audience that they thought they had for their motion control. First of all, the Wii, naming the console the Wii U with their stupidest decision yet. It's like, oh, little Jimmy, why would we buy a Wii U when we already own a Wii? Right? <laughs> Second, the instant. The, sup the inferior hardware, the inferior hardware, that's the word I'm looking for earlier. And with the inferior hardware, oh my god, the inferior hardware compared to the PS4 and Xbox One made it trash for third party support, aside from like Sega and a couple others maybe, and Capcom and stuff. But we didn't get to see any major Call of Duties on there. We didn't get to see any Assassin's Creed's on there. Or Battlefield. Or generic first person shooter. Or Overwatch. Etc. We didn't see none of that on the Wii U. None. Do you, and it's because of the hardware. Simply the hardware. And Nintendo's third party support. And without third party support. The Wii U died. Simple as that. Even, even the, the Wii U is even dead to Nintendo. What's the game? What's the one game we're getting this year for the Wii U? Breath of the Wild. And it's the diet version, also, by the way. Though in the visual department, but still, it's the diet version. Who's gonna buy the Wii U version of Legend of Zelda: Breath of the Wild? Nobody. Nobody. You're gonna get the Switch version, I know it. Don't lie to yourself. You want that Switch version. Anyone would. The, and the lack of third party support is what killed the Wii U. The Wii U had plenty of good games. It had Smash, it had Splatoon, it had... Okay, hold on, it had Smash, Splatoon, Mario Maker, um, Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze, plus many more. But due to lack of third party support, the console didn't sell. No lack of hardware that caused that to happen. Oh, you're confused yet. Oh, I'm confusing myself at times. Anyways, yeah. I mean, the Wii U died. It's dead in Nintendo. I mean, Wii U games were even getting ported to 3D. Yes, they're like, oh, um, Smash. Let's put that on the 3DS because it's not going to sell on the Wii U. Four million units, units sold of this of uh, Smash Bros. on 3DS, and two million for the Wii U. <laughs> okay, okay, there, buddy. Let's see what else we got. Mario Maker in the 3DS? Alrighty then. Let's see, um, Majora's Mask and Ocarina of Time on the 3DS, not the Wii U? Yeah, you got it right here. <sighs> Honestly. It was, the Wii was a disaster, right? And in some ways, the Switch is improving from the Wii U well, seem to be repeating the same mistakes as the Wii U. I have a feeling that the Switch is not going to sell quite as well as well after the hype of Breath of the Wild and stuff dies because of the lack of third of games at launch. I mean, we have Ubisoft saying this and EA saying that, Sega saying that. We got Fire Emblem this and Fire Emblem that. But still, seriously though, 
Nintendo. I'm concerned. I really am. Me personally, I want this wish to succeed. I would love to see Nintendo back on the mainstream market. I would love that. But we got. But for third party support, we got NBA, Skyrim, Sonic, etc. Lego, etc. But I don't see any new Call of Duties getting announced for it. I don't see any other generic first person shooter getting announced for it. I don't see any of that. And little Timmy, he may want to play Mario and Zelda, but the father, who may, who, who's in charge of the cash and stuff, or the mother, I don't know which, is going to be like, no, son, I want to play Assassin's Creed or Call, or Call of Duty. So little Timmy is going to have to settle for Little Big Planet and Skylanders. Or also Ratchet and Clank. That's a pretty good t game too. But still. Oh well, I'm talking about PlayStation here. Now if the Switch had this Call of Duty stuff. Had Call of Duty. And. Had Call of Duty. Assassin's Creed etc. On their console. The d father might be like. Yeah I'll get the Switch also. The Switch looks cool. I want the Switch. Cause that's cool. And yeah, well, uh, that would definitely help sell it. Plus the delay would also help sell it to get games ready as well. And with more third party support, we can get ready even more. And let's discuss about the mar another part of the marketing for the Switch. The so in the first little announcement trailer we got of the Switch, we got it, people taking it around, having fun. But in this recent presentation from Nintendo, we got none of that. They said the Switch will last from two and a half hours to six hours, depending on what game you play. I'm betting Breath of the Wild, when you play on low brightness, it will last for two and a half hours. Because mobile devices, battery drain, depending on how, your, how high or low your brightness is, alright? Is that why they're not talking about it? Well, maybe, I don't know. But maybe, but they should be advertising that still nonetheless. It's one of the key features about the Switch that makes it stand out from the PS4 or Xbox One. Seriously though. Just think about it. You have, you want to play Skyrim on the go? You play Skyrim on the go. You play, you play uh, Mario on the go? You play Mario on the go. Seriously, Mar Nintendo should be marketing this more. I mean, their marketing with Breath of the Wild was fantastic. But they should be marketing this more. This aspect of the Switch, the mobility of it. More. I mean, the, ch the fact that it can take in UT, I think, type UT, UTB type C charger, I believe, just proved that. Yeah, it, you can charge it with your basically your phone charger, and that's exciting because with the 3DS, if you remember, well, or I still own one, because I do too. Anyways, you hook it up to your you hook it up to the 3D charger to the 3DS, but your phone charger won't work with it. No, you gotta get the Nintendo branded charger, and guess what? With the new recent 3DS, it doesn't come with it, a charger. You have to go and buy that on your own. What the fuck? But with this new Switch being able to charge off your phone charger, it's good. That is excellent, Nintendo. Innovation at its finest. No, well, not really. But still. Seriously, though. And if you want to get some more indie titles on there, get some indie hits on there. Put FNAF or Undertale or Slender or any of these new or any of these big indie games in there. I mean, I heard you got the Binding of Isaac on there. Put Super Meat Boy in there. You already got Minecraft on there. Let's go with that. Oh yeah, Minecraft also coming out towards launch, by the way, with the Switch. Um, in case you're wondering. But still, with all of that, it's like get some indie titles in there too, man. Support, I mean, they said they were looking forward to supporting the indie developers during the presentation. 
So yeah, get even more in there. Get some of the mainstream stuff. Say what you will about FNAF and Undertale, you know it will sell. It would help the Switch sell. And my main concern right now is getting the Switch. Well, well, I don't work in Nintendo. But the main concern of Nintendo should be get the Switch to sell. They seem to have learned some of their mistakes from um from the Wii U, but they're still repeating some of them. And I want to bring up another thing about marketing. I know, marketing this, marketing that, but it's extremely important. That's how you sell a console. I remember seeing Wii U ads for Wii U games. It was like, oh, hey, kid, buy Animal Crossing. But the Switch, with that first trailer, made me feel like the Switch is going to have one more true tone. It was Breath of the Wild and this new expansion, Open World Mario and Skyrim, it makes me think the Switch might have a mature marketing, which is good. Definitely good. Keep that up right there. No, like, oh, kids. Oh, you want to buy Link Between Worlds? Oh, God, I might need a drink. I probably will get one after this recording. Anywho. Nintendo and YouTube. The Nintendo Partnership Program is freaking terrible! Nint and also, like, just Nintendo interacting with their fans in general. Not even just YouTube. They took down the Metroid 2 rem remake, if you remember that. They took down, oh my god, Lemonade for the Great Savior! I needed that. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, so if you remember, um... Oh my god, okay, yeah, fan games. Nintendo taking down Metroid 2 Remastered, Return of Samus, or Pokemon Uranium, or any like fan-made Mario game or anything like that. You remember that? It happened in 2016. I know 2016 is terrible, don't bring it up. But still. <sighs> All right. And it, it, it was horrible. Those people were so hard, so passionate about their projects. They were just fans of Nintendo. They want to share their love, their passion, their creativity. And Nintendo, they're apparently, they're like source inspiration slash, they're like, they're like love, no, we're not gonna say love. Their passion, take it down, destroy them. Okay, let's talk about YouTube. The, U the Nintendo Game Partnership Program is freaking terrible. Nintendo can just take games away or not send you any games even though you signed up for it at any time. It's terrible. And with Nintendo copywriting, striking p ch different videos that either talk shit about them or, or you know, just aren't they they don't like it or any let's play video they copyright your let's your nintendo let's play videos and why is it such a big deal you're wondering well well you see think about it any big triple a game or indie game gets marketing think about it, let's play the free marketing like hey my this youtuber just played this game i should go out and buy this game Everyone's had it except Nintendo because of how Nintendo treated content creators. Because of all this, it's scaring content creators off from doing Nintendo Let's Plays and stuff like that. That is messed up and causing and hurting Nintendo in the long run. <laughs> oh my fucking god, I'm stumbling on my words, but still. Okay. Okay. But the Switch seems to be fixing this. Nintendo's relationship with YouTubers seem to get better. The Nintendo Switch event that happened in New York City. Pro Jared got invi invited, HMK, Skyward Wing, uh, people I watch in general. A lot of people got invited to that event. And it was just so cool. It might, it's showing that Nintendo might be changing for the better. You know what I mean? If, Getting in a more, getting a better relationship with YouTubers that can give them better marketing as well. Free advertisement. Yes. And change that partnership program you got going on there, Nintendo. And yeah, we all might have a deal there. And yeah. 
Is there anything else I gotta say about the Switch? Well, let's recap. I want the Switch to be delayed till March of 2017 so we can have more games and a better launch for it. I. Uh, um, I don't. I think adding all these little extra gimmicks, and that well, that might just die out. Might be just a little bit of a waste of time. I think we should have better third-party support, like from Activision and to get the latest Call of Duty on there or anything like that. I think. I think we gotta get. I think the marketing needs to improve a little bit more, but they're going on the right track. I think they're learning from their mistakes from the Wii U, but they are. But they're still making some of those mistakes. But overall, am I hyped for the Switch? Yes. Am I concerned about the Switch? Yes. Do I want the Switch to, to succeed? Yes. Do I hate Nintendo? No. Am I a Nintendo fanboy? No. And with that, I hope you guys and gals enjoyed the discussion. If you did, like, comment, oh my god, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. I'm gonna get a drink. Another one, Meister out.